Half centenarians, I am at the place where everybody is somebody. You should come here. You should send your kids here. Everybody needs to be where they are somebody. And this is a family. So I'm getting ready to talk to the head of the family, Dr. Rick Gallo, president of Gramlin State University, doing great things. When I say doing great things, I mean putting his mouth and his money where it belongs behind students and the university. Only thing that's important. So I better hurry up because this man doesn't sleep. I do. It's time for lunch. Let's go. Check it out. Follow me. Hello, half centenarians. Welcome to GSU. So if you're a GSU graduate or current student, I'm going to steal something from some. I want you to drop some fire in the chat and let us know you are here with us because we have. So this is a labor of love for me. I am here with Dr. Gallo, the president of Gramlin State University. And when I tell you we've had a wonderful conversation so far, before I even start with talking about his mission, his vision, we're going to let Dr. Gallo himself open us up and give us a little insight into his world, who he is, how he got here, and then we will continue the conversation. So thank you so much for allowing us to come to your beautiful campus and spend some time with you. Absolutely. Now, how much time do we have? This could take a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, let me just say that, uh, number one, thank you for uh, for having me on mm -hmm. on your show. Uh, yeah, I certainly enjoyed watching uh, Lauren Blanchard's interview, mm -hmm. and he's someone that, that I have looked up to for a really long time and Very never nice. thinking I would be in, in higher ed uh, sort of <laughs> following in his footsteps. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, again, thank you for, for having me on. Um, you know, this is, is something that I never thought I would do, quite frankly. Wow. Uh, you know, growing up in, in the Gramlin community, mm -hmm. I literally grew up across the street from the campus. Wow. Yeah, I attended uh, nursery school through college mm -hmm. on this campus. And so, uh, of course, when I graduated and, and went to law school, I said I, I would never come back to Grambling. <laughs> I would never work at Grambling. Mm -hmm. And because my father had always been in politics, that I would never go into politics. So pretty much I'd, I've done everything I said I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't do. And uh, but yeah, and as I was mentioning to you earlier, my you know, my favorite scripture That's is right. Proverbs 19, mm -hmm. 21. Many of the plans in a person's heart. Mm -hmm. But it's the Lord's purpose that that prevails. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, I, I am so thankful that he has given me he God yeah. giving me the, the, the opportunity to, to really live in the purpose that uh, he has for my life mm -hmm. and, you know, surrounding me with people uh, who have seen uh, things in me and uh, yeah. the abilities in, in me that perhaps I, I didn't see and to provide me with an opportunity of a lifetime to, to right. really be able to serve this, uh, these amazing students that we have and, and this incredible uh, university, it has uh, it has truly been uh, it has truly been uh, delightful to to be yeah. able to to engage in this uh, in this labor. Well, I just want to say you told me before we started that yesterday was actually the day that you were um, appointed. Five years, yes. Five years as the president of Gramlin State University. So congratulations. Thank you on that. Done. So talk to me about how. You got here, the politics, you know, education, all of those roads you didn't even think you would be on. Sure. And here you are today. So talk to us about, you know, what does that look like for you today um, yeah. and in this capacity? So and, and, and talking about politics and again, my, you know, my father mm -hmm. is always in, involved in, in politics and uh, he's a bar with barber by trade. He, mm -hmm. he doesn't cut hair anymore. But uh, wow. yeah, so we, we can talk about uh, wisdom from the barber <laughs> perhaps somewhere late, later. But, you know, one of the things that, that really stood out to me when I was 15 uh, and dad was mayor, uh, a lady called our, our home one morning about 5 a.m. Wow. to let the mayor know that a dog had turned over her garbage can. You know, that was something okay. that the mayor needed to know mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. And I just happened to be the one to answer back when we had landlines. Mm -hmm. uh, I happened to be the one with the phone next to my bed for some reason. And uh, at that point, uh, with all the wisdom of a 15 year old, I said, I will never go into politics. OK, because of that call. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and, you know, again, yeah. fast forwarding, you know, after law school, moving back home, mm -hmm. teaching adjunct here here at Grambling, right. practicing law. Uh, there were just there were so many things that I saw in city government that uh, that that needed improving mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, ended up representing clients against against the, the city. 
And uh, of course, one in my cases. Right. There uh, you know. But but knowing that that I could make change inside mm-hmm. and uh, and avoid needless litigation. Right. And so I ran for city council and 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 won that seat and uh, locally, right? Yes, here okay, here in Grambling. Been, okay. Yeah, yeah, here in Grambling. And so, uh, fast forward four years after that, mm-hmm. um, I ran for city judge mm-hmm. uh, again. I'm never going into politics. Well, you know, no nobody black had ever run for judge mm-hmm. in Lincoln Parish, right. and so to to run for this this position was. Uh, was historic, mm-hmm. um, you know, came close but lost. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I will tell you, two weeks before uh, that election, um, I was in church and the sermon was about how sometimes we ask for things and and we don't get them and we think God, you know, has turned his right, back on us. Right. But uh, the message was not everything that we ask for is for us. Right. Okay. And so, yeah. you know, I, I didn't win that e- election, but fast forward to the following year, mm-hmm. Our state representative, Pinky Wilkerson, uh, tragically, mm-hmm. you know, passed away in a car accident. Mm-hmm. And so I ran to uh, to succeed her in the uh, in the legislature. And two weeks before that election, uh, the sermon was, uh, you know, God has, uh, you know, has uh, an, uh, an anointing for us all. Right. And and I think that the sermon was really more about the, the talents and, and that, you know, when he entrusts us with things, yeah. it's important that we be the best steward that, that we can be. And, and so I won that election. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, all of these things really added up to for me yeah. that God had purpose. Absolutely. And so if, if I would just be obedient and not that I've always been, but mm-hmm. he has, you know, continued to, to bless me in spite of me sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but but if you know if I'm obedient and will you know will will live in the purpose that he has for me that yeah. he will continue to to open doors and so did three terms in in the house wow yeah and uh, because of term limits thought I was going home well redistricting and a a new senate district was drawn and so I ran and and won uh, won that seat and I'd say probably midway through that term got remarried mm-hmm. uh christy and i started you know mm-hmm. having having kids and, and and you know lord just spoke to my spirit that uh that it was time to uh it was time to go home you know to uh to to leave yeah. the uh the, the political round behind and and so uh she and i talked about it mm-hmm. and and we we prayed and fasted right. uh, about it and you know he just gave me this this peace right. that right. Uh, that that was what he wanted me to do so when you are talking about everything that you've mentioned from you not wanting to be in politics to going into politics not wanting to move back to gremlin being in Gramlin, and you have, you know, actually, to me, I would say you have um, far exceeded things that you didn't think you were going to do in areas that you mm-hmm. you didn't even want to be in. Yeah. That's first of all. Yeah. My next question to you would be, where do you see yourself, and how is this helping you propel yourself into your best life for you, for GSU, for your beautiful family that you and your wife Christy have put together? What does that look like moving forward? Well, whatever it is, it's going to be what what God has has Absolutely. ordained mm-hmm. first and foremost. And you know, you can uh, you know read Jeremiah, you know, where he mm-hmm. you know, speaks to knowing the plans Absolutely. that I have Absolutely. for you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know, our, our Proverbs three, five, and six. You know, trust in the Lord with all that heart. You know, and and that mm-hmm. is that is sometimes, and especially in an academic realm, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Uh, that you know, oh, uh, your decisions need to be data driven, which Absolutely. you know, data mm-hmm. is a, is a you know big part of of our decision making process here. Um, but at the same time, I will uh, trust that Absolutely. God has a plan, and that He will provide mm-hmm. uh, what we need. And and He's uh, He's still in the, in the provision business, and but He's absolutely. not disappointed. So I want to go mm-hmm. back, and I want you to think back here for me as well. Sure. So you've talked about all of this wonderful stuff that you're doing, how you got here and all we, of that. We, it, it's it's yeah. we. It's it's not well, me. You and, it, it's a team. It, 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 I promise well, of you, course. it, it you, takes a team of We are only as good folks. as your team. So yeah. yes, you yeah. have all your team and your wonderful team that met us here this morning. That set all of this up. And, you know, that is very nice for you to recognize because you cannot do it alone. No. You're only as good as your team. So 
you are um, definitely right in commending and, you know, adding them into the fold. I want to just kind of let you take a minute, though, and tell me, what would you tell your 25-year-old self if you had to give yourself <laughs> some advice? <laughs> How much time do we have? I know, right? Yeah. I, you, you know, uh, I, I, my 25-year-old self, mm -hmm. I would say, and I grew up Catholic, mm -hmm. you know, the church uh, I grew up in here in, in Grambling, it's right across from the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I would I would tell my 25 year old self get a personal relationship with God. Come on, yeah. You know, uh, of course, in in the you know, mm -hmm. Catholic Church, everything sort of goes through the priest. Yeah, I, right. I, I don't I don't mean any disrespect to Catholic, you know to anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. confession you go through Absolutely. the priest and all of that. And it was not until uh, you know my pastor uh, Jerry Baldwin introduced me to the concept that you can have a one-on-one -on -one yeah. personal relationship with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Outside Christ. Outside of the confessional. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I, I can not confess not my sins to him, not to the camera. I can confess my <laughs> sins to him, and, and he'll forgive me. And yeah. so, um, you know, that that's the that's the advice that, um, that I would have given to my 25-year-old self. So let me just tell you, I think half of the things that we've heard that are consistent with um, throughout, there's a golden thread that runs throughout all of the people that I've had the pleasure of interviewing. I, if I had to put a percentage on it, it would be 85% that God is at the helm of what they say mm -hmm. and, and they give credence to just being obedient. So I just wanted to say, you know, that that to me, when people say that, it always pops in my mind going, there's another one. Mm -hmm. There's another. It's a believer. I like it. And, and yes. you know, for, for me, it, 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 it was a journey. Mm -hmm. it, and it, it's, oh, still a journey. Yeah. It, it's still a journey. It's still a journey. And I mean, honestly, there there are times that, you know, I profess my faith yes. and, and why I believe mm -hmm. that we as an institution have been successful. And and it, it makes some people uncomfortable. Absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, I, I will tell you, I saw a shift in our student body. When when I got here, they used to do a thing called Turn Up Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Out on the yard, mm -hmm. you know, DJ, DJ Twins, right. you know, they're out there, right. you know, whatever. Um, and our first to second year retention rate was 60%. Mm. And so what I said to our student leaders was, mm -hmm. when I see that our retention rate has improved, yeah. our graduation rate has improved, right. then we may consider an occasional turn up Tuesday. Uh -huh. Now, this was not something that, that I chose, but students began a uh, prayer on the yard. Nice. On Mondays uh -huh. at noon, they joined in the same area where they used to do turn up, turn Tuesday. up Tuesday. They joined hands, or at least they did pre-pandemic. Right. And prayed, mm -hmm. student led. It you know it, it's not anything that that any administrator or, or anybody else on, on campus. Mm -hmm. This this was something the students felt they they needed Absolutely. to do, and so you could just see a shift in the spirit, mm -hmm. you know, of yeah. of the students, and and so uh, I, I think, and of course now, our first to second year retention rate is seventy seven percent. Look at that. So, yeah. you know, we, we've seen an, an yeah. improvement, uh, you know, there. Uh, we're still not doing Turn Up Tuesday yet. But, uh, you know, but, but again, I, I think, you know, you, you see that when, when students really have a yeah. spirit of, you know, number one, putting God first, first. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and being about the business that they're, they're here for, yeah. then, then the, 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 the result ends up being so much, uh, so much better. And not only that, your Turn Up Tuesday might not be that same Turn Up Tuesday that they had before. You can turn up another way. Right, you know? right. So the shift right. in mindset is something that you're recognizing, and I just... I just want to say we've learned a lot about you and, and th just the I idea that you have such a grounded spirit mm -hmm. and letting the, the Lord lead you and not making big decisions uh, without fasting and praying, mm -hmm. but then putting the student first and then making sure the university is in there as well, making yeah. those decisions based on um, the, those two stakeholders so important and I just I, I just want to tell you the HBCU legacy is very important so 
when thinking about sending your children or going to college, mm -hmm. consider, you know, universities such as Grambling State University because they are family. You know, they can be a family, and we want to make sure that you understand that. That is and Dr. So true. Gallo, I just wanted to tell you thank you for allowing us to do this um, interview with you and getting to know a little bit more about you. But I have a, one last thing. Sure. We have to learn, just dive into that. And since we don't have all the time in the world, okay. I kind of put it together in two options, and you let me know what you would choose. Okay. All right. Email or text? Text. Driving or flying? Flying. Talking or listening? Listening. Early riser or night owl? Early riser and night owl. Both sides. Okay. If I didn't, if my body didn't require sleep, uh -huh. I'd, I'd stay up around the clock because there's just Too so much, much that, I, that I, I want to, to do. <laughs> yeah. So you just, you sleep in the dash. Okay. Yeah. Vacation or staycation? Vacation. Pets or no pets? No pets. We have a poodle, but so this this you, is my preference, you, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So well, had dog or cat, so it would be a dog, but you prefer not to have anything. Correct. Okay. Coffee or tea? Coffee, definitely, lots of it. Okay. I, yeah. R and B or jazz? Jazz. Football or basketball? Basketball. HD. All right. <laughs> Netflix or ESPN? Netflix. Lunch or dinner? Dinner. Dinner. Okay. Nice. So just giving us a little bit of an. Um, set of insights about you. So if you're going to email or text, choose email or text. 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 So yeah. text him. If you want to tell quick. him a little bit about this episode, yeah, make it quick. text Dr. Gallo. Yeah. Let him know what you think. Let him know if you are coming to Gramlin. Check out his episode. You guys, this has been a powerful moment. HBCUs, they rock. So if you are not familiar, get on some of these campuses. Check it out. Grambling State University in Ruston, Louisiana. In Grambling, Louisiana. Grambling, Louisiana. That's right. In Grambling, Louisiana. I digress. And has given us the opportunity to see and talk to the university president. Thank you so much again. My mom and dad graduated from here, met, married. Hey, this is some place that has a great deal of um, love in my heart. I'm sure same for you because this is your area. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you guys, check them out. We got tigers hanging in there. We got tigers all around us. We got tiger love. And we also know that we have things that are being driven and guided by the spirit. Can't go wrong with that. The and place I, where everybody is somebody. Come on. Grandma State University. With that being said, we're going to let him, we're going to go to lunch. He'll have dinner later. Thank you guys. Be safe and be careful. I have centenarians. We are in the A and we are coming in hot. We are so excited to have you on this journey with us. I have a question for you. Have you subscribed? Have you liked? Have you shared? Hmm, have you sent me three names of individuals who have impacted your life? Join us on this journey, you guys. We can't continue to live in silos. I'm so excited to be able to share these wonderful people with you. Who knows, it could be you. Be safe. Be careful, and you know what? We will see you soon.